we got our hands on and played with the Xbox One X. Microsoft says it's their smallest console yet, and in person, it looks a lot like a black Xbox One S. The ports on the back include power, HDMI out, HDMI in, two USB 3.0 ports, IR out, SPDIF, and gigabit ethernet. There are also vents on both sides of the console. The Xbox One X features a physical power button on the front, along with another USB 3.0 port. Microsoft also provided an inside look at the system, showing off all the layers of the console. Moving past the top of the case and the chassis, here's a look at the Blu-ray optical drive, which is capable of playing 4K HDR movies. Not even Sony's high-end PS4 Pro has a Blu-ray drive. This is the console's CPU fan. Underneath the fan, there's a vapor chamber cooler heatsink, which contains a vacuum-sealed liquid that transforms the gas at high temperatures to help keep the console cool. Like the Xbox One S before, the One X features an integrated power supply. This is the One X's motherboard, which houses the console's 8-core AMD SoC and integrated GPU that's capable of delivering 6 teraflops of performance. The black little rectangles surrounding the chip are the 12GB of GDDR5 memory. Next up is the console's 2.5-inch 1TB hard drive. We also get a chance to play Forza Motorsport 7 at 4K using the Xbox One X's development kit. The game was running at 60 frames per second, and Turn 10 Studios told us that it's running at approximately high to ultra PC equivalent settings. The game looked great, though if we're nitpicking, we did notice some slight jaggies on power lines in the background. Not only will the Xbox One X run at a higher resolution than its Xbox One counterpart, but the developer tells us that it's able to slightly crank up some additional graphical bells and whistles. So, that was our first look at the Xbox One X. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. For more gaming hardware coverage, subscribe to us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.